that sallow, shallow looking you with no regrets but lots of debt. Life to him is merely cigarettes. What he used to be, he just forgets. The Sludge Man, poetry in motion. Really bad poetry in motion. It's one of those magical things, I'd say. It's just me and basketball. It's we're like this, you know. I don't know. How does the Sludge Man rank among starting players in Eugene Parks and Rec? He's probably the worst. Well, the Sludge Man is really important either for that nice down low pass on the ball and get that quick little lay in or just to beat the the other guys on the team. The Sludge Man has got to be one of my favorite guys on the court, even off the court. He's, he's just a good guy. Uh, I know I said that about everybody. Well, we're all good guys. I think that's what makes us worms. Um, but the Sludge Man is real unique. He gets on the court and he's and he's still in there messing it up with the big guys. He's the greatest. The thing about Scott that, uh, that I'll always remember is that first first time when he when he went out with his basketball shoes I mean the shoes are something that will stick in my mind all right they're setting up I'm scared I'm afraid okay inside of the sledge man oh the the mean play this is the only game that they feel they can win Scott McClain traveling yeah coming back here to the old school ground makes me think about all those dreams I had the dreams everyone has, the dreams every school child has growing up, I don't know, playing in the major leagues, the NBA. I remember playing here and dreaming about going home and getting a Twinkie. You know, there's something I've always wanted to do here, and damn, if I'm not going to do it, I'm going to have myself a smoke in elementary school. Yeah. Yeah, I did participate in the jogathons, and now, now that the statute of limitations has run out on on the jogathons that we had, I can now admit that I did not really run 47 laps around the Jefferson track. I probably ran maybe seven and just ripped off all the extra numbers and got a lot of extra cash for 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 this fine fine playground. I'm damn proud I did it. As you can see, I'm I'm on the top of the M list. That may be because it's alphabetical. I, I like to think not. I like to think it's just because I was probably the, the best person whose name ended with an M ever attended this school. Yes, this, this is a fine moment, a fine moment. Someone who truly appreciates me besides me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Worm cam! It's different um, how he uh, makes his faces and stuff like that. Like um, he's really, he's like really frightened or something. How do you think he would be as a basketball player? Um, I'm sort of frightened like that. Ten minutes left in the first half. The Outlaws up by 30. A terrible defensive play by Scott McClain, and that's his fifth foul. Scott McClain back in the game now. He has four fouls. Can't for another one. That that is that is that is his fifth foul. And once again, Scott McClain will be leaving the game before the end of the first quarter. Scott McClain with five fouls. That's five, Scott. But uh, how does that make me feel? I found out. I like it because I get really tired really fast. See, and so if I foul out by like the second, the second, the beginning of the third quarter, that means I don't have to play anymore, and so I can just go and sit around and go out, maybe have a cigarette or something, and come back in and see how my my uh, teammates are doing, and uh, I don't have to worry about too much, you know, physical exercise. Mm. Another important part that that Scott fills on the team is just beating people up. He, he throws himself around a lot, you know, moves his arms into other people's bodies and things like that. That aggravates and frustrates the other team often. <laughs> 